Hello, my Bill for Thousand Nation. How's everyone doing today? Hopefully, everyone's having a great day. If not, I hope it gets better from here. We are back with another watcher. This one is titled The Phantom Air Raid That Plunged Los Angeles into. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Darkness. It cut off. I'm sorry. It takes me a second. Then it got blurry. All right. I'm excited again today. Story. If you guys are excited as I am, go ahead, turn them lights down low, put on something comfy, cup, something special. Let's get intrigued. Cause this, the Phantom Air Raid. I think I've heard about this. I'm I'm not too for sure though, but I am excited. Let's go ahead and get into it. Hey, lady. Where's your car? I'm going to the market. Fucking easy, Robocop. <laughs> Welcome to Mystery Files, where we take a deep dive into cases that span from the creepy to the truly bizarre and everything in between. I'm Shane, and today I'll be forcing my colleague, Ryan, to hear all about <laughs> the Battle of Los Angeles. Oh! I'm heard. not talking about the shitty movie from 2011. No, I know. Yeah. Trailer was great. The movie was great. Terrible. Trailer, bad film. Uh, anyway, film. we're not talking about that bad. All the best parts was in the fucking trailer, bro. It was ridiculous. Bad film. Today we're talking about perhaps the second most destructive foreign attack on U.S. soil during World War II. Or was it a completely nonsensical battle against what appeared to be not a single enemy? Allegedly. Allegedly. And in the end, you'll have to decide if the case is solved or simply a mystery. Oh, it's about to get all kinds of crazy, ain't it? They're very good at it. Every episode gets a little bit more. You know what I mean? And I love it. Fucking love it. And I'm glad so much of y'all love watching it with me. That's amazing. I love this. I love this. Yeah, I actually have heard about this one. I don't know the- You're an Angelina. I don't know the intimate details. I just know the headline. The headline is- Headline, the headline is. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> there was a battle in Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Well, let's dive in. Hope oh. we're ready to get wet. Cause I'm we're diving in. to the mystery. Hey, we're in the basement. It means it's time to get it's wet. It's time to get wet. We get wet in the basement down That's here. Right. Uh, on February 23rd, 1942, an I-17 Japanese submarine okay. stealthily made its way up a channel near Elwood Oil Field, just outside of Santa Barbara. When it broke the surface, it managed to shoot a mere 16 shells at Elwood Beach before escaping to the open ocean. <laughs> Sorry. What? Uh, that, that's not funny. I just imagine the submarine going, and <laughs> 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 just going under the water. Well, it is funny that it just pops up real quick and it's like, pew, 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 pew. <laughs> and it just like goes under the water like a little gopher. Maybe we can do that in post. We can animate that right here. Yeah. Watch. Give it a little gopher noise. There comes a cartoon submarine. Like little gophers that pop up in Mickey Mouse's and house. Oh, and there he goes. <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. <laughs> now, oh, damage fuck. to the facility was minor, oh. but the U.S.'s greatest wartime nightmare was activated. Japanese forces had made their way to American soil. Mm. This is actually, I, this is an interesting episode because you're half Japanese. That's correct. But you're from Los Angeles. Which one is one for the home team here? I have no idea. <laughs> I However, I will say that I'm an American. Of okay. course, well, and, of course. Know, and uh, America did not recognize that back in the day. No, 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 they no. certainly weren't able to they parse were, that out. They were making some pretty bad decisions. Yes. Hence the headline that says Japs. If I'm not mistaken, like, even if they, Even if they was like their f parents that came over and they was born here, they they still end up getting put in like little camps and shit. It's really really fucked up. Oh, where does it say that? Oh, that's no good. <laughs> that's bad. Why don't you read that headline aloud? No, Shane? I'm not gonna do that. 
Civilians were still traumatized by Pearl no. Harbor. December 7th, 1941, a Japanese no. kamikaze airstrike on no. the now legendary Hawaiian naval base resulted in 2,300 gruesome fatalities, 3,400 casualties, and millions of dollars of destruction for the armed forces. Go ahead, Ryan. And a really shitty Michael Bay film. Really bad movie. Again, good trailer. Twitter would have been crazy during Pearl Harbor. Right. Yeah. That would have been a trending topic for sure. After years of avoiding the fray on the Western Front, the attack forced the U.S. to declare definitive military action. The war was taking over. All over your For You page. Yeah. Over the globe, from Africa to the South Pacific. And now, starting with an oil field in Santa Barbara, maybe in our own backyard of the contiguous 48 states. Nice. Can you imagine beautiful Santa Barbara? You're driving around in one of those little cars that you like to drive around there. Oh, yeah. You're up there with Mari. Maybe you're vacationing. That'd be great. Going to, I don't know, what do they got up there? Like Zara's and Gap's and stuff. They got like it's a, just a big mall these they days. They have a Chipotle right? there. Okay, <laughs> okay. And then like a movie theater. We got married there. It was fun. Not oh, yeah, in the Chipotle. Did. Okay. Or oh, even better. Theater. It's your wedding because it was on the beach. It was. It was, on the it beach. was right on the shore. Yeah, it was. What if at your wedding a submarine surfaced and started firing artillery? Then I would swim out to the submarine like Indiana Jones. You'd in hop on the top. Lost Ark. I'd hop on, and then everyone at the wedding would clap, just like they did for Indy. It didn't and really make a lot of you'd sense. Screw, you'd screw the thing, right? And then they'd play the Indy theme as I got and inside. You'd lift it up. And I'd start punching Nazis. But yeah, these, you, weren't, these weren't really technically Nazis. They'd be my. Well, let's say they're. I could get in the submarine, and I would look like the people in the Japanese submarine, and they would be like. Do you know Japanese? No. What if, because I feel like laughter is sort of the international language, what if you jump down and we're like, ha ha! And they'd be like, why are you in a tuxedo? In Japanese, they'd ask Oh, because it's your wedding, right, right. And then I'd get naked. Yeah, and then it turns into sort of an Eastern Promises fight, maybe. I'd be in there dick schwanging. Oh, anyway, good to know that you'd uh, defend our country on your I wedding I would. Day. I would defend it with my dong. Yeah. All right, <laughs> let's, let's move along. Um, now, in the year after the attack on Pearl Harbor, the... New meaning to carry a big stick, huh? But someone had to say it. We was all fucking thinking it, all right? Don't look at me like that. West Coast had prepared for the possibility of a Japanese strike. The date which will live in infamy left a legacy of fear that weighed heavily, and rumors of Japanese attacks on the mainland were rampant. In LA, blackouts and drills were common practice, and residents had become familiar with the call of sirens and searchlights. What then, is that supposed to be? Huh? That's a searchlight. Oh, it looked like the black hole on Interstellar. They reach out a hand, a hand Earth. comes out of it. And Murph. we were trying to grab the hand, remember that? And I'm we were like, is Murph. it aliens? Is it aliens, Chris? I don't know. Murph, I'm this Goosebumps book over here. And then Murph. we get to the end, and it's like, oh, it's just fucking McConaughey. It's just McConaughey. Um, where were right. we? <laughs> oh, yeah. Then, just a day after the attack in Santa Barbara, a warning was issued on February 24th, 1942. Naval intelligence reported an attack could be expected from Japanese forces in the next 10 hours. Needless to say, people were on edge, prepared for right. the air raid sirens I would be. that ultimately blasted throughout the city at 7.18 p.m. Alarming. As reports of a large number of flares and blinking lights were spotted near the city's defense plants. Thousands of volunteer air raid wardens jumped from their couches and dinner tables and assembled at their posts across L.A. County to be on the lookout. Damn. I think every house in America should have one of those giant floodlights in their front lawn. They're line. cool. Fun. I always see them in the sky in L.A., and you know who it always is? Hollywood Bowl. Scientology. No! Yeah. The Bowl does have some, too, but a lot of times, it's Scientology. Scientology, they got it all. They got those they lights, and they got Tom Cruise. Yeah. Maybe this was Xenu. But by 1023 Maybe. p.m., the alert lifted without incident. The city returned to a relative calm, residents grateful for sleep after a tense and fearsome evening. What's that lady driving? She looks like she has like a camera or something. It looks like she's driving an invisible car. <laughs> <laughs> beep, beep. No, uh, Hang on, I gotta make it right. <laughs> it sort of does. I don't. I don't actually know what that what is. What the fuck is she doing? <laughs> it looks like a steering wheel. Hey lady, where's your car? <laughs> I'm going to the market. Anyway, so things died oh, down around 10:23 p.m. Nice time to go to bed. For all those history people out there that knows a lot about this kind of shit, what was that? It really did look like a fucking steering wheel. Was it a camera? Will we ever know? <laughs> nice. Yeah. It's my bedtime. But 
hours later at 2.15 a.m. Chaos erupted again oh, when shit. radars picked up signals of an unidentified target just 120 miles west of L.A. That's the ocean. Yeah. I like how the dude was smoking a pipe. You don't see that no more. I really miss, man, I miss going and seeing my great-grandfather. Like, he always smoked a pipe. I always love smelling it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Within minutes, anti-aircraft batteries were put on green alert. They were ready to fire on command. <sighs> Tense. Now, radars tracked the approaching target until it was just a few miles from the coast. Six minutes after the signal was picked up at 2.21 a.m., a regional controller ordered a blackout throughout the city. If enemy planes were overhead, buildings with lights we'll on would shit. obviously be the easiest to bomb. To the residents' alarm, the area plunged into darkness. Very scary. Looks like they get all the movie channels there. <laughs> <laughs> Big ass satellite. Now the Air Force kept its limited fleet of fighter planes grounded awaiting more intel and their patience was shortly rewarded. The mysterious flying object seemed to have vanished from the radar's detection. But that didn't stop a deluge of reports flooding the control center, all claiming to have spotted enemy planes, including one at 2.43 a.m. when a coast artillery colonel stationed near Long Beach said he spotted about 25 planes at 12,000 feet over the city. Then, at 3.06 a.m., somewhere over Santa Monica, mm. a balloon carrying a red flare was spotted. It seems to have been the last straw for the nerves of those on duty. Four batteries of anti-aircraft artillery opened fire, and suddenly, the air over Los Angeles erupted like a volcano, much like the movie Volcano, starring Tommy Lee Jones. I remember that one. Yeah. We gotta get these people out of here. <laughs> That's that was, good. It's the whole movie is just like, hey, you got a volcano going up here, we gotta get these people out of here. I think you're gonna like your movie, pal. I think you're gonna like your movie, pal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, pure chaos in Tinseltown right now. Over the next three hours and into the light of dawn, more than 1,440 rounds were launched into the air. Once the shelling began, reports became hopelessly at variance. But what is known is that not a single enemy bomb was actually dropped that night. And despite over a thousand rounds of ammunition that were Holy fired, shit. there is no evidence that any aircraft were hit. Do you think you got really? it? <laughs> yeah, this is fucking crazy, man. I'm just picturing, you know how fucking long it would take for a thousand rounds to be shot? Just them just going, bar at will. All right, hell yeah. say, yeah, these are probably anti-aircraft guns or something, too. So it's like, two hours straight. And at the end, like, all right, you think we got him? I mean, you have to admit, though, it's probably. Yeah, we got to wait for the smoke to clear, but, you know. Well, yeah, we definitely had to give some. Like, literally, was that just all it was? Was they just start firing wildly into the air, hoping that they hit something? Okay, I like I like that. Difficult to, I mean, pitch black. Yeah, Can't sure. See anything, Ryan? Do you notice something strange? No. You, you don't. At, at all? Did you shit yourself again? No. Do you notice something strange about our surroundings? Oh yeah, there's a bunch of uh, looks like birds with crosshairs around them. We're under attack, Ryan. Oh, I see. We're about to be plunged into darkness, and you're gonna have to shoot these. So observe their locations. What do we have here? A terrifying bird. Yeah. A little alien. Yeah. His UFO, his spaceship. Such a bunch of things that fly. I get it. Uh, yes, a jet, a balloon. Cool. Okay, so you're gonna, we're gonna plunge you into darkness and see how effectively you can shoot at these things. Oh, I'll be oh. much more effective than these jackasses. We'll see. Let's begin. Let's get the air raid sirens going. Oh, chaos! Ah. Wow, that's really loud. Ah. Can, can we do some shaky cam like? Oh, oh, like Cloverfield. Ah. Oh shit! Oh, oh god! I love Cloverfield. Oh, very scary. I do. Oh, give me some jelly beans. It's chaos. Ah! Oh! 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 I need a weapon. He needs a weapon, Carter. Always nice oh, to see Carter. Always nice to see Carter. Always nice to see Carter. Here's and, your... and some extra bullets. I'm gonna let you look at these one last time before you. Oh, I'm not gonna even be able to see you them. You can't see. Just like those brave gunners. <laughs> if you hit me, you lose points. Okay. If it helps, I can always give you sort of an audio cue. I can go over where the targets are. That looks great on you.
Oh, great work. Thank you. I think you did better than those gunners. Even without hearing my little taps, you did a pretty good job on these. It was easier to hear your footsteps, so I was like, oh, this I is should good. have, I knew I should have worn my little slippers you today. Should. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Was that exhilarating? That was fun. More than exhilarating. Arousing. I think we've awakened something in you. I think so. Now, even if some began to wonder I if the attack not. had lived in the city's collective imagination, the fatal consequences were quite real. Five civilians died that night. What? Yes. And several more were injured. How? all due to the chaos surrounding the event, rather than at the hands of an actual foreign attack. How did they die? I don't know, Let me. I, I'm curious what you're, I mean, I do know. I'm curious what you think happened. Well, I can't imagine they got hit by any of the gunfire that was going into the sky, but I do imagine that people thought it was the end of the world, so they probably ended up looting and killing each other. Well, let's find out. Three people died in traffic accidents okay, so that's games. on the city's completely blacked out streets. Maybe that woman with the steering wheel. Yeah. <laughs> I swear I'm in my car. <laughs> it was just Two here a moment as ago. A result of a heart attack from the stress. Wow. And some essential workers were injured on the job, including a radio announcer who suffered a head injury after running into an awning. Classic dog. Oh God! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Headphones go flying off his head. Uh, a police officer cut his right leg after kicking in the window of a still lit store in Hollywood. Fucking easy, Robocop. Turn the lights off! <laughs> <You know? laughs> and a handful of volunteer air raid wardens suffered injuries like broken legs and sprained ankles from running about in the dark. And lastly, one man heroically but comically fell down his own front stairs and broke an arm. Yeah, well, you, I don't know why you're running around in the dark. It just, sounds pretty funny. Just sit still. Aside from the people who died. I mean, that's not too yeah, bad, Everything though. else pretty funny. You gotta just sit still. Just people being like, ah! I mean, on the grand scheme of things, the, the whole place being blacked out, artillery fire going everywhere, searchlights, like, that, it could have been worse, you know? I... It really could have. So I'm sticking with not too bad. <laughs> Donk. Donk. Oh, my leg. People slipping on banana peels. Yeah, it's uh, too much. <laughs> Meanwhile, everyone's like, <laughs> yeah, those guys sitting there with the fucking the artillery the guns. Wheel. Oh. Just their rock hard. Just like, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Light them up. <laughs> now that's a battle Los Angeles I'd pay to see in theaters. All right, now yeah. the sheriff was said to be particularly embarrassed after he, quote, valiantly arrested several Japanese nurserymen and gardeners yeah. and turned them into the FBI, alleging that he caught them red-handed, sending signals to the enemy aviators. Makes sense. Uh, clearly, he showed his agenda, and they were doing no such thing. <laughs> Great Sound. work. Good work, guy. Now, at the time, Japan didn't take credit for the attack, and after the war, Japan confirmed that it didn't have any planes in the area at the time of the raid. But false reporting from the media in the immediate aftermath only added fuel to the fire. Imaginative war reporting from that night described swarms of planes and balloons ranging from one to several hundred, traveling at altitudes from a few thousand to over 20,000 feet over the city, flying at speeds ranging from very slow to over 200 miles an hour. Wow. So, just a bunch of baloney. If I'm yeah. in Japan, and I'm a jack- It'd be like saying, well, how tall was your mugger? He was anywhere from this tall to this tall. He was kind of skinny, but yet fat. Had hair, but not hair. And, and there was between one and 200. Bro. Japanese person. I'm looking at this report and just going, we're living in their head rent free, baby. They're <laughs> over there feel? firing right. in the fucking night and yeah. nothing. How embarrassing. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm sipping tea looking at a sunset over in Japan. In a headline titled, Air Battle Rages Over Los Angeles, the Los Angeles Herald Examiner quoted witnesses who falsely claimed to have spotted 50 planes, three planes shot down over the ocean, and one that landed in a fiery eruption near Vermont Avenue. You would think they'd have pictures of that. Yeah. That plane that crashed into a street. 
It's one of those things, though. I wonder, though, because obviously the Internet didn't exist. That's true. As far as we know, let's say a car crashes on Vermont Street. Someone plows their car into Fred 62. And the local, oh, a big fire explosion over there. Oh, maybe it was a plane. Because oh, like if you're assuming, yeah. like, you yeah. know, there's planes in the sky, they're attacking us. You see maybe a car crash or someone hears something. Word hey, travels around yeah, town. Yeah, yeah, How yeah. do you even, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I guess there's no real way to Rumor look it up has online. It. You're just reading the paper and listening to what people said. Yeah, yeah so essentially. I guess it, it makes sense that maybe things got out of hand and people were telling tall tales. Sure, yeah. yeah. Well, it was quickly revealed that the... So what I'm taking away from this is people are full of shit. Gotcha. The entirety of the damage caused to the city, including thousands of dollars of damage to buildings, homes, and automobiles, were caused by our own shells that failed to explode in the air and instead blasted upon impact on the ground. <laughs> Pretty funny. Yeah. Now, the LA Times might have put it best when they described the overwhelming sense of confusion that followed. Quote, exaltation was in the air. The city had met its first taste of war with valor. It was exhilarating, but exaltation turned to embarrassment the next day when the Secretary of the Navy said there had been no air raid, no enemy planes. It was just a case of jitters. Embarrassment turned to outrage. The army was accused of shooting up an empty sky. I mean, at least we fessed up. We were like, hey, we beefed it. Yeah. There was no one there. Really embarrassing stuff. Really makes us look strong to our enemies. Especially because everyone was probably like really proud, like, yeah, we yeah. got them. That's right. They must have turned around and fled. People went in Los we Angeles the next morning walking around just like, <laughs> we fucking did it. <laughs> we did it. Maybe That's what you get. That like dirt on their faces. Even though there was no war, but yeah. they put Can't it on there. See me. No one knew how the heck things spiraled so far out of control that night. From searchlight operators to gunners to radar guys, they all testified that they'd been following orders from above all the way to a dead end. Because even more confusingly, there was a, quote, divergence of views between the War and Navy departments and the unsatisfying conjectures advanced by the Army to explain the affair. Basically, no one could get the story straight, which led to quote, vigorous public discussion. Yeah. So everyone's pointing a finger. The buck is never stopping. It's just people being like, I was just doing what they said. And people. then they were like, well, I was just doing what they said. That must be so embarrassing. You know when you like go out for a night of drinking and then the next morning you're like, oh, what the fuck did I say or do? Like you're just like kind of like in a state of just like embarrassment. Yeah. This has got to be the worst version of that. Yeah. Where you spend all night shooting at something that's not... <laughs> Well, luckily it was dark, so you could be like, I, I knew the whole time I was in yeah, my yeah, I was just following orders. Yeah. <laughs> All right, moving along. But, I mean, if you think about if they did kick those lights off and the only thing they're seeing is a nice sky, man, they could have been seeing anything. Their eyes could have been playing tricks with them. Nerves are, like, raging at this point. Like, they're just nervous, chaotic, just like... People can mis mistake things for about anything. And, and you, you get this one person out there who's a little over jittery. I sees like the moon come through the clouds out a certain way. It's like, oh, there, two, 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 two. Then you got this other motherfucker who's just as nervous, doesn't see nothing, thinks he's missing something, swings his gun around, starts going, two, 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 two. And then the next thing you know, you got everybody in a little circle just shooting the shit up. Absolutely not a fucking thing. It happens. I've seen movies. Yeah. Now, it seemed military authorities had taken on a policy of stubborn silence, even in the face of enormous public outcry, fear, and uncertainty. From his post in Washington, D.C., Navy Secretary Frank Knox wrote off the entire affair completely, saying, quote, As far as I know, the whole raid was a false alarm and could be attributed to jittery nerves. And just a day later, the War Department, presenting the Army's side of the story, claimed that in fact, at least one and possibly five unidentified aircraft had flown over LA that night. Hmm. Wait, you mean the Army weren't able to admit fault? I guess the Army was being a little tight-lipped on this one, yeah. 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 Mm. That guy looks like a pleasant dude. That looks like a Frank Knox. This guy yeah. looks like a real son of a bitch. That looks like he he's never smiled in his entire life. Yeah. It does not. He must be dead here. Doesn't possess the money. He looks like a wax figure. Yeah. Fucking guy. 
Now, as the various branches of the military floated conflicting theories that confirmed nothing, the Washington Post suggested that the way the government handled the entire disastrous situation in LA, especially in the aftermath, was in fact the actual recipe for jitters. While questions on the lack of transparency in the wake of the attack are valid, military experts say that tactically, for the War Department to explain the truth, they would have had to air a, quote, complete revelation of the weakness of our air defenses, which naturally they could not do, lest enemy forces take advantage of the information. Real convenient. Look at those stats. Got a point, Three though. transports sunk, two planes shot down. That's some good shit. G-Men sees 29 in Florida raids. That's probably real. I don't know what they were doing in Florida at that time. I think they saw the writing on the wall. They were like, we got to get rid of these folks. <laughs> we got to put a stop to Florida. That's right. <laughs> Get the G-men down there. You gotta start breeding gators in this place <laughs> to get rid of some of these folks. <laughs> anyway, oh, a pretty comprehensive report here. But now we must figure out what in the hell actually happened in LA that night. And I think you know what time it is. Oh baby, it's cork board time. Cork. 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 Aliens. 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 Yeah. Cork. It's alien time. All right. <laughs> All right, let's, let's dig into it. these theories. You got any uh, prominent ones you're already stewing on? I got, I got, I got a hunch that you're uh, thinking about the little green fellas. My uh, rank number five. You only have four theories. I have about five. Fifth theory: aliens. Fifth. Aliens. 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 All right. Well, let's see if they show up. I know Very you good love those little guys. Theory one. Unidentified planes. Boo! Not exciting, boo. I know. Boo! Uh, well, hey, you know what? I boo. enjoy this. I like the feedback. You can boo these theories if you don't like them. Boo! Okay, all right. Uh, now, our first theory comes from U.S. Secretary of War himself, Henry Stimson, who said that there were actually 15 unidentified aircrafts over Los Angeles that night. Now, he believed these planes could be commercial aircrafts operated by enemies launched from secret airfields in California or Mexico or even from Japanese submarines. I don't know how that would work. I don't know how I that would I don't believe this guy. Would, look at him. Look at him. Look at this guy. I can't trust this guy as far as I can throw him. He looks like an emaciated right. Walt Disney. Yeah, he looks like he should be writing Grapes of Wrath or some <laughs> shit. Also, what is this part? It's I don't know what the fuck's going on it's there. Not, yeah, uh, it's not even centered. Maybe it was a la mode at the time, but I'll tell you, that's a grade-A dork if I've ever seen I one. I gotta say. And he thinks unidentified planes. Next. Next? Well, there's still a little bit more to this All one. Right. Stimson claimed these unidentified planes didn't fly to attack. Rather, their mission was tactical. Determine the location of anti-aircraft defenses and gather reconnaissance on West Coast military operations. The big cherry on top... <laughs> was instilling fear and damaging civilian morale. That's actually a military exercise. It's called it probing. Is. Probing. You know a thing or two about probing, don't you? Oh, I'll tell you. That's a different kind of probing, but I am an expert in that. <laughs> um, now, it seems hard to get a more official explanation than what we just heard, but many, including the Washington Post, pushed back on this theory at the time, writing that the Army's theory failed to explain why no American planes were sent in pursuit of them. Would the U.S. government Very casually true. allow enemy spies and clunky commercial aircrafts to make their way cozily down the California coast? Based on just about all of written history, it seems unlikely. That's a good point. Why wouldn't they Very just true. scramble some F, you know, whatever fucking 25s? I don't know what or... they had then. I don't think they had the F. Well, yet. scramble something. Yeah, I don't know what they were doing. But certainly it doesn't make any sense. This guy's full of shit. No. You can boo him again. Boo! Thank you. Boom. Uh, so knowing that that doesn't seem to hold much water, why don't we move on to theory number two? Better see when I want. Birds? They were birds? You should be ashamed of yourself. Birds? You should be ashamed of yourself. I don't know that I should be ashamed. I, I don't know that I should be I ashamed. I think you thought so too. You just hit yourself with your pointer. I don't know that I should be ashamed of myself so much as California should be ashamed of themselves. I mean, that's true. We should be ashamed of ourselves. Ooh, balloons. <laughs> well, Pennywise did it. Now, another theory for what happened that night relates to the questionable accuracy of radar, which was a brand new piece of technology that was, quote, just months past initial field testing. Mm, really? Radar itself was inherently a complicating factor, as it had only very recently been added to the anti-aircraft defense system. Okay. You're go. You're go. Okay. This actually seems pretty plausible to me, but you're giving it that. Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, the California State Library speaks to this particular piece of state history, saying, quote, 
at one of the new radar stations near Santa Monica. Pay attention, okay? The crew tried in vain to arrange for some planes to fly by so that they could test the system. As no one could spare the planes at the time, they hit upon a novel way to test the radar. One of the guys bought a bag of nickel balloons and then filled them with hydrogen. Attached metal wires, both, yeah. you know, attached and great. Attached some metal wires and then let them go. Catching the offshore breeze, the balloons had the desired effect of showing up on the screens, proving the equipment was working. So it sort of worked, at least. Uh, can we say with certainty that the technology was up to speed after they tested it using kids' balloons and coat hangers? Probably not. Some have gone as far to say that birds could have been what the radar picked up that night to set the whole calamitous wheel into motion. That really is a theory. But didn't for the birds. But was do do birds show up on radar? I I don't use a radar very often that at all. I don't I don't. I've never had to, needed to, or wanted to. Do birds show up on it? I mean, I okay, I take that back. They're they're when I've gone fishing, we have the radar, especially whenever I've gone ice fishing, we have the little radar that shows the little do 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 you know what I mean? So would the birds show up the same way? Because that would be plausible. And if it's nighttime and it's cloudy and you're not seeing things right, you might be I mean, hell, people get like a bug on their camera lens all the time and think it's a freaking Goonie monster coming from space. I mean, plausible, right? <laughs> wasn't there like a pilot that said they saw 25 planes? Like, it wasn't all radar. I mean, radar is what set the whole thing off. I recall eyewitness testimony of like people in the military saying, I saw them, like in the sky. Like a guy in a plane, like in San Francisco, was like, I saw 25. Maybe he was full of it. Maybe he saw birds, man. I mean, radar is clearly pretty shoddy at this time. Yeah, I guess. It's picking up birds. Did they have instances where it picked up birds before this? Yeah. They did? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, clearly it was picking up balloons. What, they it were picked attached, up balloons. But they could... had metal on them, though. Like, they, I, you ever see how big a pelican is? Yeah. It's a maybe. Maybe it's not a fool, this, but maybe it's like, heh. Okay. It's, like, a, it's, like a, it's a one pump. Heh. Okay. So this is a one theory pump chump, one gotcha. pump chump, says yeah. they say. Okay. <laughs> Moving along to theory three, the aircrafts were actually, oh God, weather balloons. Balloons, Ryan. I'm so tired of the weather balloons. I know, we get those a lot, don't right. we? Right. Uh, now, this is actually the most popular theory among military experts. It also has to do with balloons, this time less with the birthday variety. Many believe the defense systems could have accidentally misread weather balloons as enemy aircrafts. Meteorological balloons, which you see here, 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 big, big, beautiful things. You ever seen one of those in person? Yeah, well, I mean, I haven't. I, I would love to see how big they are. They're big. Are they big? Uh, how big are they? Uh, fucking huge, man. Big, big. I don't know. I, mean, I don't like know the dimensions off the top of my head, but I, I do like know it. that weather balloons are used to explain a bunch of things, like Roswell. Well, I guess you can see here. There's some little sailors next to it with their little hats. Oh, this one's big. This one's real big. I just don't know how you could trust anything the military says at this point when they've already right. revealed they've been lying to us for the past like several decades. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't trust anything anybody says. I mean, but I guess you got to trust some stuff in this world. Right? I don't trust the military, yeah, I tell you that. You probably don't trust the military. Now, meteorological balloons were commonly released over LA. Definitely and don't a trust the military. A study of the evidence suggests that these were the cause of the alarm. This theory is also supported by the fact that as the targets were being tracked by radar, it seemed they moved too slowly to have been airplanes. Yeah. So that's an issue. Airplane, uh, by and large, go fast. Airplane go real fast. Is that backed up by data? Can we confirm airplane go fast? Airplane go fast. Okay, we have confirmed airplane go fast. Because when you get in the airplane, airplane go fast. I'm sipping a ginger ale. You're sitting your ginger ale, and you're like, oh, we're sitting here on the tarmac. And then suddenly, go fast. But then it doesn't feel like you're going fast. No, because you're in plane. Yeah. But plane go real fast. Theory four. It better be. How fast do plane go though? Planes. Flying doesn't make sense to me, okay? I'm going to go ahead and say, I get it, I get it, I get it. I know the math, I know the science, it all looks good on paper. It makes no fucking sense to me. It don't. Helicopters really don't, neither do bees. I, I, think, I think they're both fake. I'm sticking with it. 
what I it better be what I want to see. I don't know. It better be what I want to see. Well, this little theory, I don't know if you'll like it. You probably don't even want to see it. Should we just end it here? You don't need to see theory four. I'll shoot you in the nuts. Theory four. Let's go. It's alien. Yeah. Baby. Finally! Hell yeah. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Ooh. I don't need the ellipses after that. I don't know what that's about. Well, yes, of course, no list of theories for Ryan would be complete without aliens, the little gray fellas that's from above. Right. That's, that's right. That's right. That night, the City of Angels may have been visited by an alien spacecraft. Now, this theory largely stems from a retouched photo of the event that was unbelievably published by <laughs> the Los Angeles Times. Kind of hard to see here, but I can see a, it. That's a just a clearly fake UFO. Yeah, that someone doctored. Yeah. Um, the dramatic dark black and white photo, which underwent modifications that would be frowned upon by today's photo editors, seems to indicate an unidentified aircraft surrounded by searchlights. Nice. Yeah, you can see it here too. Hell yeah! It's a little more visible there. I think this is it. We solved it. I like, do you like this guy? I, do. I mean, I just like the idea of aliens going, looks like they're on edge down there. Watch how funny this shit is. And, and then, that's what I do. And then disappear for a second. That's and then just I, watch them shoot for three hours straight. That's exactly what I would do. It's very that's funny. what I would do. Have you taken any I interesting love notes aliens. in your The in only book? notes I've taken are sad. I just wrote, internment camp's bad. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't cover those, but those were bad. And in Pearl Harbor. Also bad. Bad. Yep. And I put parentheses, film and event. Yep. Yes. Wasn't great. You it think sucked. aliens were responsible for Pearl Harbor? No. Okay. No, no. I won't go that far. Okay. Just, just check it. Now, what all the theories have in common is that they ended in an explosion of shell fire, with only the searchlights reflecting in the dark sky. The flashes of anti-aircraft shell bursts could be mistaken as enemy planes, amplifying the illusion of an attack. Any further careful observation was difficult because of all the smoke and, in fact, LA's acting commander of the Anti-Aircraft Artillery Brigade said that at first he was convinced that he had seen 15 planes in the air, but quickly decided that he was actually just seeing smoke. <laughs> Whoops. Egg, egg on his face. <laughs> yeah. So, a lot to consider there, and I feel like I know your answer, but maybe I don't. Maybe you won't be as far out on a ledge on this one. What do you think? It really was. I'm gonna go with weather balloons. You think it was weather balloons? No, you idiot, it's aliens, come on. <laughs> Do you genuinely think it was aliens? Yeah. Interesting. I think it's aliens fucking with us. It's, pretty, it's funny, it's the funniest solution to me. And also they've lied about weather balloons so many times, right. so it's just yeah. like, they lied about Everything having an alien a program. Fucking weather balloon. How am I gonna trust them with this? I mean, it's a, you know. Why would they have the an alien time program weather they balloon, didn't have it's things in the past that chaos. happened that they couldn't explain? They should turn this into a screenplay and just sort of redo Battle Los Angeles and just do this, but with aliens. That'd be good. I think 100%. if I had to wager a genuine guess, I'd probably go with weather balloons. I know that's not Scans. sexy or fun. Scans. I do believe in aliens. I don't believe that aliens have, have really visited us, have a sense except humor. for those little Mexicans. See, I don't believe the weather balloon one, because how's there going to be that many weather balloons all at one time coming from the same place? I believe the bird one and the alien one ones who I love so much. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are fake, though. I don't want them to be. Well, let's bring it home here. Was it just smoke and fear the gunners were shooting at that who fateful knows? night? Or perhaps the smoke and mirrors of a mission of Japanese espionage? Was it a bird? A plane? A or David Blaine? <laughs> I like that. I don't think it was him. No? All right. Unless he's sort of a vampire and is eternal. It's possible. Was it a bird, a plane, a balloon, or an alien? Which, according to recent congressional testimony, we can't technically rule out. Yeah. However, whatever the wardens were actually firing at is still, to this day, considered a mystery. Hooray. That was a wild one, huh, Bergoos? Yeah, no, I mean, we, I think we all agree what it was and we can end the episode. Yeah, I think that about does it. Well, let's be thankful that we live in quieter times here in Los Angeles and we haven't been attacked or, uh, for now. Gotta be fucking metal to just get killed by an alien. Preferably in front of my family. If you could plan your death, would you ask to, you know, not die peacefully in bed at night, but in fact, get your brains blown out by a little alien? Well, on one hand, you could die 
peacefully surrounded by loved ones on your deathbed. Yeah. But on the other hand, wouldn't it be amazing if I was on my deathbed surrounded by loved ones and then an alien killed me in bed in front of them? Yeah, like it was a really peaceful scene, some golden evening light. Yeah, exactly. In, and then your family's all like, oh, I think, I think his time is near. And you're like, come closer. I have no regrets. And then suddenly through the open window, just <laughs> and it, it blows my brains out. No regrets. Great. Everyone's screaming. You're just smiling. <laughs> I, my last words is blood squirting out of my mouth to be like, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> and I die. Well, I hope that happens for you. Me too. If your dreams come true. Thank you for joining us for yet another uh, award-winning <gasps> episode oh, of Mystery Files. And folks, we'll see you next week. That's what Cube was doing after his big Oscar win. Oh, yeah. I forgot he was in that. Nothing but respect for Cuba. Gooding Jr. Gooding Jr. Yeah, I mean, and, and uh, sure, hey, why not? Hey, yeah. Hey. yeah. Oh, my God. That was good. I like that. See, I love learning shit like that. That's crazy. I bet it was. I bet it was just nerves going crazy. The lights, they turned the light out to the whole fucking city and just start seeing shit. It happens, bro. All right. I really enjoyed today's video. I know I don't talk a whole lot on the ones I get so interested in it, but I can't help it. I get gobsmacked. All right. I really enjoyed today's video. If y'all enjoyed today's video as much as I did, please go down there, leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow. While you're down there, go on over, slap the subscribe button, become part of the Bill 5000 Nation. We do some crazy shit here, bro. If you want to know when that crazy shit happens, ding that bell. It might work for you. It might not. But if it do, jump in on one of my, premier, on one of my premieres, jump over in the live chat and be like, hey, Bill, what's up? I got dinged. It's your fault. Leave a like and dip. That's all you got to do. As always, be good to one another. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. It was aliens. I guarantee it was aliens. It had to be aliens. Think about it, though. Ryan's right. Like, it just came down. I was like, hey. And then dipping, and we're all just like, ah! Definitely aliens.